get an alert day tomorrow. What's happening, Bob? Uh, we've got uh, weather, particularly later in the day and tomorrow night, where we could see some gusty storms and gusty winds for sure. It's going to be a breezy day anyway, but it's going to be very mild. Back in the 70s tomorrow. Right now, we're at 51. Currently, the airport reporting calm conditions, no wind at all. 54 La Plata, 53 in D.C., 48 Oakland. Last night, they were in the upper 20s. Right now, 53 in Cumberland and 53 over in Hagerstown. Showers way out to the west, maybe about 20 hours away, but we'll show you those coming our way tomorrow and tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow night. That's when we have a chance of getting some storm activity. Right now, all the rain now from portions of northern Indiana, Fort Wayne, Indianapolis, down just past through St. Louis. Now over portions of Nashville, some thunderstorm activity along that boundary. You kind of see some intense storms there from western Kentucky down through portions of Alabama now near Birmingham. They've had a few tornado warnings in southern Alabama. That will continue to move across Alabama into Mississippi area and into Georgia later. All that stuff now just beginning to head off to these around 40 miles an hour. Locally, nothing happening here, but we'll see some shower activity. If we get showers early in the day with cloud cover, that'll help to keep the instability down. So you want the rain in the morning, so it'll help keep things a little quieter. The warm front that went through this morning with the clouds, there it is up to the north. So we're now in this warm segment. So it'll be a mild night tonight. A lot of clouds around the air. That'll also help keep the sun down. The more sun you get, the more instability you get in the atmosphere. It really gets things really fired up. The main area of low pressure passing well to the north, but it's going to drag that frontal boundary across the region. We do have, at least for the entire state, a slight risk for some strong storms tomorrow. Let's take a look at the future cast. This is the frontal boundary. Around 10 o'clock in the morning, showers from Baltimore south, the heaviest in the Carolinas, and during the afternoon, maybe 12 o'clock or so, more activity southeast of the city, and then some more showers as the front moves through. The closer look at this future cast shows most of the activity appears to be going on south of us during the afternoon. We'll see some rain, but the heaviest down in Virginia and along the low Asian shore and portion of southern Maryland. Then we'll still see more showers till late at night, but it's possible the heaviest does pass just south of us. We'll get some clearing here on Friday. Won't be a bad day at all. It'll be cooler. So overnight, we'll see clouds in the increase. Tomorrow morning, maybe a little sun, then some showers, maybe afternoon, and the best chance for thunderstorms. Five, six, seven in the evening. We'll continue that risk until maybe late tomorrow night. That's why we have an alert day. 58, much nicer as we head into the next several days. Temperatures close to normal. A few showers on Sunday. I want a few more here by next Wednesday. And we'll be right back.